Hey everybody, I'm here today with my June plan with me and I am in my EC planning my monthly spread. June 2018 and I got this beautiful kit from Planned Escape. Last night on IG stories, I set up my notes page which matches and like, oh, I mean, it's just like people's first names and their birthdays, that's fine. But like, I, I planned out my, um, my notes page with this matching kit and it's like so stunning and I love it so much. So I'm very excited to get the monthly kit done as well. So this is from Planned Escape, if I didn't say, it's on their beautiful premium matte paper. You've got your page here that has your top stuff for there, some bows, some small flags, and holidays. You've got your top strips. This is one or two stickers. It is one sticker. That's great. Oh, that's so helpful. I don't have to try and line it up. Amazing. I love it. Is this one as well? No, this one is two because it's probably like optional, I guess. But yeah, that's very helpful. And then you've got some kind of tiny icons that are miscellaneous and you've got your date dots. And then you've got some strips to mark out time in this beautiful bamboo print. You've got sidebar, stackable sidebar, some tassels, and some more flags. And then you've got um, headers to mark off your sidebar sections. You've got loads of labels, loads of icons, and you've got these little tiny flags. So yeah, I'm gonna get started by putting down all of the basics, which means my top sections and my stackable sidebar, and then I will be back. Okay, this, oh, let me tell you, I loved that. That was so much easier. Oh my gosh. That was like, yeah, having that be one big strip, like, made it a million times easier. The there was a bit of struggle with the sidebar, but, like, this EC format just, like, means it's always going to be a bit of a struggle, but it was much less of a struggle than it has been it previously. So, um, and I forgot to, uh, to mention I was whiting out the bit top of that flag there as well. And I think that's all the important stuff. This is so stunning. I'm, like, in love with this, um bit up here it's beautiful so let's just get started on some day by day the first thing day that I have stuff is actually the fifth so I feel like there's I feel like it's just June is not as busy of a month which is probably gonna be kind of nice honestly get a lot of stuff done um, I do have a trip this month but like the beginning part of the month like pretty chilled out so I've got two things on this day I've got a bill due so what am I gonna do? Oh, there's loads of money signs, so I'll just use like money signs for build this. So, and do I wanna match? I think I'll match, I'll match, there's enough labels. I think I'll match the icon color to the label. I think that's what I shall do. So here we go. We've got a money sign. And I'm gonna get my, my tweezers. Um, these are like pentagon shaped icons. It's quite interesting. Unique, I feel. So I'll line it up at the top and then it'll like come down like that. Oh, that's nice. I like how that looks. Yeah. That the shape just gives it like a little more visual interest, I feel like. So that's for my that's my phone bill due on the fifth. And then I also am speaking at a symposium. So what what kind of an icon would work for that? Oh, there's coffee. There's alarm clock. Hmm. I don't know. I might pull in an emoji actually for that. So I might just take, I'm, I've got two conferences this month. So I might take my meeting emojis, just pull these out and pop these in maybe like a blue color to mix it up and just put this there for the symposium that I will be speaking at. And that's just on my own university campus. Um, there's an, another one that's I'm traveling for, but that's just on my own university campus. So that's nice and easy. And that's, that's everything for the fifth. And then, yeah, skipping down to the 13th, literally nothing for a week. And then the 13th, and then all I have that day is that I'm getting my grays box. So I'm just gonna take these, these, yeah, these are just the same. So I think I'm just gonna take, um, I mean, I could take like a pattern one. That's fine. I'm gonna take like a pattern flag. And I'm just gonna put it up there. And was, I think I'm gonna take one of these, like, yeah, there's these like two, 
gifts, um, like tiny gift ones. I think I'll just put these for my Grace boxes. So like while I'm at it, I think I'll just put the 27th, which is my other one. Let's take like the same. Cause I just write, I just write a big G in the flag. I don't like write Grace cause I, I know what, I know what the G stands for at this point. I get it, I, I've gotten enough of them, I know what that means, so. I'll just do two matching little flags for the two Wednesdays that I'm getting my Grace box in June. And then on the 14th, it is two holidays, but I, I won't be able to fit either of them because I've got two other things to put in, unfortunately. So I'll keep the stickers though, and if I can fit them in like my weekly spread or you know somewhere else, I'll, I'll keep them for that. Uh, but the 14th is a, another bill due. I've got to renew my oyster. So I've only got three more of these and I've got more than three bills. So if there's an icon ever that works for something else, not really. So I'll, I'll just keep using these until I run out and then I'll find other stuff. So renewing my oyster, I will take this kind of brownie pink. I don't know what you call it. I guess it's like a, it's like a rose, like a rosy kind of color for my tweezers. Here we go. And I'm going to put the honey icon down here. And then it is also my mother-in-law's birthday. So there are a few present icons. Let me take this blue one. So it's a different color than the bill do. Great. And then on the 15th, I've got another bill due. I've got my internet bill due. So I'm gonna take this hot pink. I probably could have whited that out, but I feel like once I write in there, you won't be able to notice that you can that see, kind of see flag day through there. Um, so yeah, this is my internet bill due on the 15th. And then it is also the other conference that I was talking about. This one's in Manchester, so I'm going to be popping up to Manchester for that. Very exciting. So I think I'll take this like dark blue and just another meeting emoji so that those kind of match visually. And then... On the 17th, it's Father's Day, which it already says there, but I want to mark it a little bit bigger by using this um, this holiday that comes with the kit. And I think I might add in one of these tassels because there's like space on top where I guess, I don't know if that's what this is for, but I'm sure it's for whatever you want, but oh, careful. I think that'll just be like fun little detail. I am taking a bit of a gamble that nothing else major comes up on that day, but eh, there's a little bit of crook in that. Uh, anyway, I feel like there's no way it's coming up, so. Oh, it's actually kind of coming up. Mm. Oh, and I ripped it. And who could have predicted that? Literally everybody. Although maybe I can fix it now, so. I get like a little less crooked. Maybe I can't. Okay, I think I made that work. Does that look bad? Let's zoom out. No, it doesn't look bad. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, let's see. When Then I got the 19th. I got another bill due. So, let's see. We, are, we got our last... We're on to our last money symbol. So, we'll have to come up with something else. Yeah, none of these really apply for this is council tax so alrighty so let's see there's a lot of yeah there's like there's four um kettlebell icons and I feel like I I'm not gonna I mean I'll probably use one for my gym bill being due but um I'd rather have more bill dues because, like, I don't, I, I wouldn't ever really mark workouts in a monthly spread, uh, but because there would be too many to mark, so I don't know, but maybe other people do, like, 
do mark that or mark other kinds of things with that so so yeah I just personally don't need those but would love more bill dues but that's just me uh and then the next day 22nd oh so we've I don't have anything on the 21st so I will put in this summer begin sticker because it's just kind of a random Thursday so um it is also um payday and Let's see, I've got some payday leftovers on, on this sheet here. Just trying to see what will kind of go. This like green and green and blue one will. So I'm just gonna put that right there. Forgot to put that in my in my pre-playing insert. And then the 22nd, I've got three things. As always, the 22nd just ends up being really full. Um, so we've got a haircut. I've only got one haircut sticker, so I've got to use this color for that. Also got a bill due, but I'm out of money one. So what can I use? It's um, it's rent and British gas that are due. Do any of these make remote sense for that? Not really. Oh, oh, I've got these as well. I totally forgot. Okay, I can just use an asterisk. Great. I'm gonna use this because I haven't used this color yet. It is also um, three months until the wedding. Oh God, I had to think about that because it doesn't sound true, but it is, oh great. <laughs> oh great, so I think I might use, do I use like a flag on this or, I don't know. Just wanna take the asterisk kinda as is. I mean, we can just put the asterisk like, Flag might be a little bit too much, but uh, no, it fits perfectly. So let me put that just to like, cause the asterisk is quite small. So just to give it like a little, a little something, something. Can you see if it gets a little dark? Maybe it's just my angle. No, I think you can see pretty well. So that will be for rent and, and British gas being due. And then three months to the wedding. What color do we want to do? Um, I think I'll take another flag. And then we'll incorporate a little blue on this day. So I'll take another one of these flags. And then I'm gonna take, and then I've got my Hummingbird Planner wedding ring stickers and uh, this color match as well. This, this one, I think I'm gonna go do this teal to match it to the flag. And then we can just put our wedding countdown. And then 23rd, I've got my gym bill due. So that's where I'll take, um, I'll use one of these kettlebell stickers. And then this last week here, let me just zoom out for you there. It's gorgeous. Okay, cool. So this last week here, this is, I'm gonna be in Uganda all week, so I'm gonna use these strips to mark out that time. It's actually like, it's much more difficult to do this on the bottom where there's no mark, there's no like guidance of like where the box is. So I'm just gonna try and line it up. That's not really working. Um, I need to move it a bit, sorry. I'm just gonna try and like, Get a just, not even perfect, but like a vague idea of where it starts. And I guess just put it like along the bottom of the whole page, I guess, just to make sure that it'll be lined up. So I'm just gonna use one full strip for the 24th to the 27th and mark, well, I'll do, I'll mark the other stuff. Uh, yeah, okay, let me just finish the strips first. So, and then I'm gonna need Oh, perfect, it's already cut into three and one, amazing. Um, and then I'm just gonna need this one for the 30th to the 28th, I don't know I said, well I said that backwards because I'm gonna put it on backwards. I'm gonna line it up over here and then put it right along the bottom of the page. Okay, cool, so that's marking out my trip. It does kind of look like it's just a bottom border, but I'll know what it means, it's fine. <laughs> and let's see, we've got, I'm gonna mark my flight out on the 24th. 
with one of the planes. If I point it, if I arrange it, yeah, if I arrange it the way the other ones are arranged, the plane is pointing down, so I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to arrange it just so that the plane looks like it's flying in, at an angle. And then uh, we've got the 25th, my GP Sticker Studio order is taken out. So that is, let's use like the dark blue. Um, so that is now my mystery kit and my sub box. Although I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna be staying subscribed. Um, I'm just gonna use this package icon for that. So that is the day that I'm charged for the for the following month and the current month ships out. Uh, I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna stay subscribed to the mystery kit. I haven't quite decided yet. But the sub box, once you buy it, you get two months. So I'll, you, I canceled it straight away. So I'm going to get only May and June. But that's when my June one will, will get, will ship out. And I actually won't get charged because I won't be getting July. But, you know, I got to make sure I didn't get accidentally charged. Make sure it got canceled okay. Make sure it shipped, you know. So that's kind of everything to do with the GP Secret Studio Mystery on that day. I've already marked my Gray's box. And then the only other thing is flying home on the 30th. And that is my last plane icon is this color. Now I'm not I, I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna mark it. I do leave on the 30th. So I, my flight is on the 30th, but I don't get back until the first. So just because of how it works um, with the, because we're leaving, um, we're leaving at night and then there's like a layover and everything. So just how it worked out, I am not actually getting back till July 1st, but I did want to mark it because my flight does leave on that day. So awesome. That is everything as far as I know it. Um, yeah, great. So let's see, what else do we want to do? Um, definitely want to decide what I'm going to kind of use my sidebar for. I think maybe I'll do a category called trips and like, I don't know, maybe I can just like, oh, it's, it's centered, not edge to edge. Ooh, I always forget to check that before I put it down. I can like either do a to-do list for Uganda or write upcoming trips just as like a, hey, look at these fun things coming up. I don't know. I don't, I don't really use, see I've got to watch and to read, but I've got those sections in my notes page already, so I don't need those. I could just do like this month, could be very miscellaneous, next month, maybe next month at the bottom and I can just write like some things as they come up for next month, like looking forward to things. I don't know, this might be kind of more journal-y. And then like uh, events, just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I think I might incorporate some, yeah, like some of these, like, like these little arrows. Like if I just put like, these are too small to write in. So if I just put like these arrows as like bullet points for, some of the sections and then I've got so I use one of the asterisks so I don't I no longer have four asterisks but if I did like hearts for the trips yeah that's cool so I'm just kind of creating and like I can either if I decide to use this functionally I can use those to check it off if I decide to use it as journaling then it's just kind of demarcating the four different things and then yeah, no, I think that's I think that's cool. I do want to put something in the events probably, but don't. Yeah, it would be, would do asterisk, but I don't have enough of them, so I feel like that's weird. Maybe I'll do like asterisk. Just like switch between like asterisks and hearts. And then I feel like there was aesthetically like maybe a better way to do that, but 
And then like the ones that are hearts could be like more personal ones, the asterisks could be more school ones. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this, but I like how that looks. And I'm using I'm using the stickers, so that's cool. So I think I'm ready to just go ahead and put my date numbers down, which I'm gonna speed through because that's boring. Okay, that is everything. I love the look of the how they're like the same color on each week. I think that's really nice. And I think that's everything I could possibly put for now. Um, but definitely, you know, stuff always gets added in as the month goes on. So I will post a spread, a picture of this spread at the end of the month. You can see it all filled in. You can see what the heck I do with that. Um, so let me show you what I have left. On this sheet, I just have one asterisk that will definitely come in handy at some point. I've got a few uh, headers and a few labels and icons left. Again, definitely will get pulled in as I make more plans. I've got some bows that will, I'll find some way to use them or I'll just like stick them on decoratively if I don't uh, have any specific use for them. Two holidays, again, I couldn't fit them on on this, I couldn't fit any of them on the actual day, uh, so I will, I'll save them in case I want to use them in my weekly spread, uh, and uh, three flags are down there, and then I've got a bunch more flags here, one more tassel banner, and a few strips that I can use as labels or whatever, and that's it, so I think I did, made pretty good use of the kit, and I think it looks really, really lovely. And that is my finished spread for June. I'm really excited about it. Love this beautiful planned escape kit. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And please, please, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.